All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. It is uh, December 26, 2017. And as you can see, we're going to be talking about fear of money, okay? Fear of money, how to overcome your fear of money. Because a lot of people pretend like they don't have fear of money until it's time to do the work. And when it's time to do the work, that's when we see who has the fear of money and who doesn't, right? So a lot of people talk online. A lot of people try to show off. You know, a lot of people do all this thing, all these things online. But then when it's time to actually do the job or do the investment or or take or do be responsible with your money, that's when the fear of money comes into place. Okay. Um, and they back out of deals, they back out of investments, they back out of making money. Um, they just back out of it because they have a, inside of them, they have an internal fear of money. Having money makes them very scared because it comes with responsibilities, right? Um, you have to manage your money. Number one, you, you have to maintain your, your, your wealth, right? So when you're given wealth, you know, one of the hardest things is to gain wealth, right? But even harder is to maintain or grow that wealth, right? And not lose it, you know? And you hear that all the time from the people who, who have wealth or the people who are rich, the hardest thing is to maintain the wealth and the rich riches or even to grow it more, right? Um, you know, because they're spending a lot now, because they're in gated communities, their house costs a lot, the property tax, their ins car insurances are up because they're driving nice, nicer cars. Um, they have, you know, all these bigger expenses now because they are in a different bracket, tax bracket, right? So now they have to maintain their wealth and even grow their wealth and that is the hardest part because now they've already uh, main they've already obtained wealth now they have to maintain it and continue to grow it right that is the hardest part about wealth but before the even that people have a fear of even getting to that riches or wealth spot because it puts anxiety in them like oh my god what if i do get to this point where everyone's looking at me because i'm i am the one in the family that has the wealth, right? It comes with a massive amount of responsibility when you have that wealth because you don't want to lose that wealth because you could pass it down to your children, your grandchildren, generational wealth, right? Uh, and that is a big burden on people to know that uh, I have to maintain this so I can pass it down to my children and, uh, and, and their children's, right? And so that becomes a big burden to a lot of people. And so they, they, they get scared or they have this fear, uh, and they don't even try, right? They don't get into investments. They don't, uh, secure their money properly. They go out and they just blow money They you know, a lot of people, are, are out there just blowing money because they don't want to have anything to do with money because of the burden that money puts on them. So they just go out and blow it. They go out and blow it and they always make excuses that they don't have money. They don't have money. And, and yet when you look at their bank notes, it's all because they're, they're blowing it on stupid things, materialistic things. They're just blowing it. Okay. It's one thing to blow you to, to have materialistic things when you're making a certain amount of money and you're only spending 5% of it on materialistic things, right? You can do that all day. Th that doesn't matter, right? If you're making a million dollars and you're spending 5% of it on materialistic things, who cares? It's only 5% of your income, right? But when you're uh, making, let's say 40,000 a year and you're blowing, let's say 50 to 60, 70% of it on materialistic things, okay? And that's a problem because that means that you have a fear of money. You have a fear of, 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 uh, growing money. You have a fear of having money in the banks or having money and, uh, maybe a crypto wallet or, or private keys, holding the private keys, uh, to that. you you have a fear of money because when you get money and this is how we know you, you, uh, people have fear of money and maybe you're one of them that is listening. When you get money, you blow it. You don't want nothing to do with it. 
That's how we know we have, you have a fear of money. Because when you get money, you just blow it. It's The money isn't working for you. You know, money is supposed to work for you. Money is supposed to come in and then you're supposed to use it to make it work for you, right? That's what money is supposed to do. It's supposed to, you're supposed to make, so even if you, uh, you know, buy something here and there, it doesn't matter because the money that came in, you put it towards, in a, you put it in a Roth IRA, you put it towards some type of investment, uh, some type of passive income, whatever the case may be, and that money is working for you. So you can spend over here, spend over there, because you know you're making money every day. That money is working for for you that's what wealthy people do right they make they they make money work for them not them working for the money right so and the, and so compound interest uh you know uh, iras uh uh etfs um passive incomes online trading whatever it is wealthy successful people um, have money working for them they're not working for money their money is working for them Right. So we have to get to that point where money is working for us and we're not working for money. OK. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you can't become rich off of a nine to five. OK, because there's people that are, have become wealthy off of nine to five by knowing how to manage their money and, and putting it into raw fire rays and other and, and, and mutual funds and other things like that. And 401ks. And after, you know, 20, 30 years, they can they retire and they have a million, two million dollars in their accounts. And maybe they have another million or two in their savings accounts. Right. And they did it and they, they lived life comfortable and, and and without blowing it on stupid stuff. And they were able to do that. But that's I mean, how many people do that, though? Uh, less than point zero 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 one. Right. Uh, the rest of the rest of the people that work nine to five. Um, they, they, they struggle, right? You know, they struggle and they, and they don't, they don't put money away. And even if they do have a 401k, um, you know, it, it's, uh, years down the line before that even gets to a million dollars. Right. Uh, and then when it does get to a million dollars, it's taxed and all this other stuff like that. And you're left with really not that much to go into retirement for the next 30, 40 years. Right. So, um, so yeah, so fear of money right we have to remove the fear of money in our lives right uh, and you have to just go out there and just make it happen make it happen let the money work for you instead of working for the money right when you bring when you get money you make it work for you okay you don't go out there and just blow it and blow it and blow it you got to make the money work for you you got to put it in investments you got to take the leap of faith and get your money working for you okay and a lot of people don't do that because they have the fear of money okay so we have to remove that fear we have to remove the anxiety we have to remove all of that and realize that if you want to become successful if you want to become wealthy if you want to become rich whatever you want to become right and it has to deal with a lot of money you have to realize that it's going to come with a lot of responsibilities you just have to you just have to face that you have to just say you know what i only live once this is what i want to do this is what i want to do this is the legacy i want to live I want to become somebody that's that's successful, that is wealthy, and is able to pass wealth down to the next generations, right? In my family, right? If that's if that's you, then you have to just remove the fear. You have to just take the leap of faith and know that you only live once, right? So you got to go. You, it's time to move. So hopefully, in 2018. Those that you guys that have fear of money, fear of having a lot of money, you always have to look over your shoulder if you have money, okay? Because family members are coming or whatever, and they and they know that you have money, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? At some point, you have to make a decision in what type of life you want to live. You could live the life where you don't have any money and you just live in the shadows and. You have nothing to pass down to your children and, and you're fine with that and you're fine with the way you, you know, you're struggling and all that and you and you uh, have to depend on the government and stuff. If that if that's how you want to live, then you have to make that decision. Right. If you want to live on the other side where you don't fear money, you have money working for you. 
Um, you're successful. You have money to pass down to your children. You have uh, you, you set up a um, maybe you set up retirement accounts. You have 401k. Maybe you have a rough IRA. Uh, maybe you have some cryptos. Maybe you have some uh, uh, Wall Street stocks. Maybe you have some. Um, uh, you know, you have maybe so you have some paintings. You have some investments in painting and art. Um, maybe you have some real estate investments and and land and all these other things like that. And then also maybe you have some wheels for your children and your grandchildren and stuff like that. And making sure that they're secure. Uh, that is a lot of responsibility, but you have to choose what side you're on. Either you're on the side that fears money and just wants to get rid of it uh, at will every time you get it and just want to spend it and get rid of it, or you on the side that wants to use it to make more money and then able to uh, pass it down as a generational wealth. Uh, for your family, okay, and then make, and then also you get the because of you because you don't have that fear of wealth, um, you're able to then live a great life. You're able to have a nice house and nice land, nice uh, nice clothes for your family and friends, nice cars. Uh, you're able to take trips around the world. You're able to do nice things, um, and you're able to just eat good, right? One of the best things about life and having money is eating good, right? And I'm not talking about eating, you know, fatty foods, but I'm talking about eating really good, right? Eating and having a professional chef cook you nice, lean, organic food, you know what I mean? And eating clean and eating nice. That takes a lot of money to do that, right? Uh, and most of the world cannot do that. They have to eat whatever's available, right? So when you have money and you're and you're and you're uh, responsible and you have no fear of money and the money's working for you, guess what? You get to now hire a chef, a personal chef to come in your house and cook lean organic foods for you and your children and your family, so you guys can live longer and healthier and hap and ha and, and and happier. Um, and so that's really a po real positive thing. If you don't like nice cars, then at least, you know, a lot of times those who don't like nice cars like nice food, right? And so you can, so instead of buying the nice cars and stuff, you could have regular cars and, you know, and you can have the chef in the house, right? A personal chef when, because you're, you're responsible with your money and you have your money working for you, you can get a, a chef to make you nice lean food, right? Nice uh, organic lean food and your family could eat healthy and uh, you can have salads and vegetables and and all that good stuff, right? And that's because you take care of your money and you have and you don't have the fear of money. Now for you guys that have the fear of money, that's not going to be you. You're going to be eating Whatever is available, the fast foods, the whatever, you know, the cookies, all that stuff. And and, and you're going to be having the problems right in the future because your body can't maintain that type of eating. Right. So and that's what we see all the time with people, just bodies just break down. Right. Because of the way they're eating and the way they're living. Right. So we want to. So this is why it's important to get that fear of money out of your way. Right. It's all it is is an, is an illusion. It's a deception. It's an illusion that's in your path. And, and, and the number one thing is responsibility. Fear of money is mostly driven by the responsibility of having the money. You know, having to burden the responsibility of, you know, having a house, having having nice things, having nice th and, and knowing that maybe my my family members, and my friends might steal my my stuff, might steal my nice shoes, might steal my jewelry, might steal my TV, might steal all my stuff because they don't have it. Right. So if they don't have it and they don't have money and I do and they come over they might take and steal my stuff. And so that those fears are real, right? And those are legitimate fears, right? But you have to make the decision on, are you going to stay in that world? Or are you going to just say, you know what, regardless of that, regardless of all of that, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the side, a side of success and wealth, right? And then I'm going to use that uh, to make sure my children are also uh, on that side and they also grow up 
in the in the area of responsibility of money right because when children have when children see that you have money and they see that they're in the nice houses and stuff they they don't fear money right and they 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 don't go work for people they open up their own jobs i mean their own businesses because they see mommy and daddy do it right so then the child says i'm not working for nobody <laughs> okay the child says i'm opening up my own business and usually it's going to be starting online they'll open up their own online shop whatever it is maybe a clothing brand or or something whatever it is but the the, the child knows entrepreneurship because they see their mom and dad successful in knowing money and also the child doesn't have fear of money because he's always he or she has always been in money Right. So they don't they don't see money like other children would see it, you know, as this fear and responsibility and this burden and that they have to blow it all at one time. They don't they don't see that. They see it as money is going to be working for me. And so that's what we want to leave for, you know, for children and grandchildren and our family members is that to remove the mindset that we have that we're going to be that we're going to have fear of money and we're going to blow it. But no money's going to be working for us and we're going to be responsible and we only have one life to live. So let's live it really good and let's but let's live it responsible and uh, let's take care of our bills. Let's take care of our debt. Let's get that stuff out the way and then let's have the money working for us and in responsible way. And then once we have that, we can have the nice chefs and the nice meals and the nice, uh, you know, outfits and the nice cars and the nice trips because we have our money working for us 24 hours a day and we're not working for money. So, and, and also, responsibility we are bearing that responsibility uh and we and we take that we we take that uh that challenge we accept the challenge of responsibility of money because if you're going to be wealthy if you're going to be successful you are basically telling the world you are taking the responsibility of of uh you know of money right you're taking you're bearing that responsibility of being responsible for money being responsible to keep your money and maintain it right because if you don't everybody in your town everybody in your family and the local news will know about you right because we've seen millionaires that haven't taken uh, that responsibility and they have absolutely lost it all and it's on the local news <laughs> the family members are embarrassed the children are embarrassed their neighbors are embarrassed and and that's because they didn't bear the responsibility of money and they didn't know how powerful that they that they were until they lost it all and then now you're on the local news of losing it all right and your family is embarrassed right so this is why people don't want to have money people don't want money because they know that if they lose it the family has to bear the responsibility and the, and the shame that would happen to you you know <laughs> and and so does the town and the neighborhood right uh you know and we see it all the time right this person was worth 21 million and now the the house is going up for repossession and and they repo the cars and uh you know what i mean and he's kicked out of the town and and uh it's embarrassing right so and and uh, the whole town is embarrassed your family is embarrassed right so you and it's all over the news <laughs> because they had so much money right and they lost it all so we have to re realize that it comes with responsibilities and uh, once you realize that you have to bear responsibilities for your wealth and success uh the the fear goes away because now you know that you're you you do not want to leave a legacy of being on the on the local news losing it all right <laughs> okay so i mean things do happen and you know but at the same time it is really embarrassing <laughs> okay so remove the fear uh you know tell yourself that we're going to we got one life to live and we're going to be responsible for money and we're also going to make money work for us instead of us working for money all right so that's how we're going to do it in 2018 you're going to remove that fear of money 
and you're going to make money and you're going to make money make work for you and you're going to become uh, successful and wealthy people and we declare it and we decree it now and uh and, you, and that's it so i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed this teaching eyes open see you tomorrow bye